Okay, this is a strength of materials problem. And here we have a thin strip of rubber, which is unstretched, and it has a length of 15 inches. Now, if we take this rubber and stretch it around a pipe, having an outer diameter of 5 inches, they want us to determine the average normal strain in the strip, in the strip of rubber. All right, so they want us to find the uh, strain, which is the normal strain right here. This is our formula for it, right? E equals delta, the amount of change, over the original length. Now, let's uh, go ahead and take a look at what kind of change are we talking about. So we're going to take this rubber and we're going to stretch it around the pipe. So we have the pipe right here and we're going to take the rubber and we're going to go nicely around it and we're going to stretch it on it. And we're going to end up, as the problem say, says, that uh, we're going to have an outer diameter where our R will be uh, 5 inches. There you go. This is the change that we are talking about. We're going to go from 15 inches to going around the circle with a diameter of 5 inches. Now, what uh, change to the rubber? We had 15 inches here, and in order to find its current length, we're going to calculate the perimeter of the circle. Okay, and that is... Uh, Let's see, perimeter will be equal to 2 pi r, and this will give us 2 times pi times our r is 5, as the problem stated, 5 inches, and this will give us a length for our rubber, which will be 5 pi. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it with pi in it. We can calculate that with the calculator. Now, we are interested in our uh, change. So what changed is our delta went from uh, 15 inches to 5 pi. So we're going to find the difference by 5 pi minus 15 inches both. And this will give us, with a calculator, we can find it a value of 0.7079 six inches. I'm not gonna round at this stage, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Now, we arrived to our normal stress strain formula. We're gonna go ahead and plug in. E equals our delta, we found it right here, 0 0.70796 inches, divided by our original length, 15 inches. And again, with the calculator, we can calculate it and find our normal strain in the rubber, which will be 0 0.04719755. There you go, that's all the numbers that the calculator gave. So let's uh, round it up, and that's going to give me epsilon equals, let's see, go to three sig figs, so 0 0.0472. And epsilon or strain is uh, a ratio so they does not have any units so we're just gonna leave it like that